uh, my name is Luis Zaraga from ABC Auto Care, and this is Figo Vera, our manager, and we are here to answer some of the questions that hopefully will put your mind at ease about what is going on and what we're facing right now with this COVID-19 situation. Um, we're answering some of the questions that our clients are posting for us, and hopefully we'll do a good job of that. And if you have any further questions, you can uh, refer those to, uh, to us through Facebook on our uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com uh, forward slash ABC Auto Care, and we'll come back to you and answer those questions. So the first one that we have today is, how have things been impacting the ABC Auto Care due to the coronavirus? And I can say that um, <coughs> for the most part, uh, one of the things that we continue to see right now is that actually people are taking advantage of things, uh, uh, of the fact that we don't have as much traffic right now to take care of their vehicles. Um, we would have thought that people would have been much more fearful about it and not do any work at this time. But realizing that at some point they're going to have to rely on their vehicle to be reliable and ready to take them someplace on a short moment's notice, um, people are getting things done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, I agree. We definitely are seeing the uh, stress of those vehicles People are not driving them, therefore they're just saying, hey, here's my car, take as long as you need, because there's no stress of, I need to get to work, I need to get to, you know. You know. That is true. When are there so much stress anymore where people are just saying, I need my vehicle done by X time, because they're not really going to work right now, they're staying home, so all this distancing has created some interesting and different opportunities as well. Correct. So, great. Um, Move on to the next question, and Cuba, that was for you. What, if, what are you doing differently to mitigate people's fears about you working on their cars? We are definitely taking precautions, more so than we would have normally have taken. Uh, we are definitely doing uh, the seat covers, the floor mats, which is always, always something that we've done. The seat covers, we're putting uh, covers around the steering wheel as well. We have uh, sanitizers that we use to sanitize the handles. Any point of contact that we might come across mm -hmm. uh, while we're working on your vehicle. You know, anything that we touch, we make sure we go back and we're sanitizing the vehicle as well. For your protection, for our protection, for everybody's well-being is essentially the reason why we're all doing it for as well. That's great. All right, let's see. Um, one of the ones that people are asking is, uh, did we get any government assistance during this COVID-19? And I can say that we did apply for it. Um, we went through the process of going through the application, we went to Chase Bank, and unfortunately, uh, we didn't get any. Um, we weren't told anything other than the application was incomplete. However, I do know that at the time, uh, when I filled the application, what I did was um, I sent all of the information that I was required. Now, they're giving me the opportunity to reapply at this point, and we're going to try this again, but so far to this day, no, we haven't had any assistance whatsoever. But I would like to say that at this point in there, uh, we're managing quite well. Business is strong, people are doing things, we're busy, we have a full crew working right now, and we're just incredibly blessed. So, thank you. City and County of Ventura. Uh, next question is, uh, let's see, what are you noticing about business in general? The business in general is, is <laughs> affected us. Of course it did. I think everybody was impacted by it. Mm -hmm. It has slowed down. But again, it just goes back to the, the we noticed the freeways are the roads are definitely a lot easier to drive on. Yeah. Um, so that's a plus. But, you know, our mechanics, um, when they come to work, there they seem to be a lot less stressed because there's no stress of driving to work. Uh, they're taking the time to go home because they got, you know, they'll, they'll be home in no time. Um, okay. So, but it's definitely changed the mood as far as what we're, we're you know, going through. That is definitely a mood changer as well. So we, we've definitely noticed that, that just in our shop, our technicians, our, our mechanics are definitely, their, their moods are, are definitely a lot better just because of the fact that, you know, there is that, that stress because we are such a service. 
we are coming to work and those cars are not on the road. You know, so the traffic the, is dynamic. Absolutely. One of the things that I've noticed when I walk through the shop right now is that there's a general sense of, of uh, calm and relief right now. They, they know that they're not going to have to go to employment, they're not going to have to rely on government assistance or applications or forms. Um, they, they get the general feeling that their job is still pretty secure despite the fact of what's going on around them. So that's, that's incredibly comforting. And I think that when people do that, when people feel really secure like that, uh, they do great work. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I think. Um, let's see. You can, you can answer this one here. Um, what have we done as a repair shop? Uh, anything special to help uh, those during the crisis? We have uh, offered simple things uh, that can go a long way. We were able to, we managed to scrounge uh, hand sanitizer. Oh wow, that's great. Which was, you know, weeks for delivery would normally, it would be, you know, your two, three day delivery. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a concentrate, we're able to make uh, a lot of it, so we're going to make as many bottles as we can. We are um, offering it to our clients for free. Right. Anytime they come in for service, we're just simply putting a bottle of that hand sanitizer. We have purchased the bottles, we have the product, we're just going to put that in their, in their car, let them know what it's about. Um, so that they can stay safe as well. You know, I know it's a, it's a hard commodity to get right now, so we are, okay. we're lucky to get a little bit of it, and we're just gonna make it accessible to as many clients as we have until we run out, because obviously, hopefully, we run out and we nobody needs it anymore. But that is the, the hopefulness of it all. Awesome, well, I'd like to thank you, thank me as well. We kind of run out of time right now, we just run over a lot of time, and, uh, what we'll do is next week, find us at the same time and we'll be answering some more questions. If there's anything in particular that you want your questions answered to, just post them on Facebook on our page at uh, facebook.com forward slash AD Seattle Care and we'll come back and answer that for you next week. We will be posting this on YouTube as well. Yep. So like and subscribe as well. Thank you. Subscribe to us at the AD Seattle Care channel on YouTube and on Facebook. Thank you. See you next week.